Meanwhile, here's something else to take note of today. Actually, this is more than that. I'm really challenging you to imagine this horrific scenario if you can. It's on a, both a small and a large scale. Your teenage son doesn't come home one evening. You fear the worst. You fear that he's hurt, that maybe he's in some kind of trouble somewhere. And then you realize that his stuff is gone. His passport is gone. Your son has left the country. This is happening to dozens of families in the American Midwest, and there's a common thread here. All of these missing are from Somalia. So they're Somali Americans. They've been going to school here, born there, or from Somali parents living here. All of the missing boys were active in their local mosques, devout students of their radical religious leaders. Now, here's the ominous part about this. This is the stuff that may send some shivers down your backs. The FBI and the CIA believe that the men, young Somalis, were brainwashed and recruited to return to Somalia as holy warriors to train and fight jihad. Maybe, maybe alongside al-Qaeda. Maybe to fight against us here. Just think of the security issues here. Think of the fact that these young, smart, Americanized young men have citizenship papers. Think of their families as well. Heartbroken, angry, and afraid. It's frightening to think about. That's why we're going to drill down on this story for you, for all of us. Stay right there. We've got the FBI's take on this. In fact, he's sitting just to my right right now. And also more details from the place where this is happening, this bizarre story when we come back.